Greetings, brethren. It's the Donkey, and we're back with Donkey vs. Beer. Now, this particular company making this beer was recommended to me by one of my long, long, long time subscribers, the, the, the absolutely venerable and awesome Rat Nav, uh, who also follows me here. But his name on YouTube is probably his real name, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, he knows who he is. I don't know if he wants to, you know, keep that a secret. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, he recommended this company to me uh, on, with a different type of beer. The um, It's the Anchor Brewing Company. And he re recommended to me the Steam Anchor Beer, which um, actually sounds really, really interesting because apparently they are still using an open vat fermentation. And that is truly old school. I mean, we are talking 18th century when it comes to Germany. That hasn't been done in over 150 years, I want to say. Maybe in some crazy private brewery somewhere, but just as a general way of brewing beer, that hasn't been done in such a long time that I'm really looking forward to the other beer and I'm going to be nerding out on that all the time there. But this one specifically is the Liberty Ale, which uh, just appealed to me with its... Uh, with its liberty messaging. So <laughs> let's hope it's as good as uh, the uh, political aspiration promises. Uh, oh, I didn't check how much. Oh, it's a 5.9% ale. All right. So we're, we're, we're uh, you know, probably more. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, it definitely smells more IPA than I would expect from like a you know, something like a brown ale or a red ale. This is definitely more on the on the uh, IPA side of things. Oh, this is not a... Oh, see, good thing I checked before I kept pouring because this is not a 330 bottle, it's a 355, which is just way too much for my poor little half pint glass. I really need other half pint glasses that are, I don't know, more than a half pint, I guess, because this is just not, this is just not good. Look, look at how much there's still, I don't know, can you even see that? I guess you can kind of see it it's about here still. So yeah, anyway, definitely, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that, definitely looks IPA as well. Oh, it definitely smells IPA. Uh, I mean, it is brewed in San Francisco, so... Uh, okay, well, I will say this. I'm already kind of uh, happy about this, because if I can just peel the label away a bit... I mean, it looks that there is no sugar or anything nonsensical in here. It just looks like malt, hops, yeast, and water, like a beer should. <sighs> Let's try it and hope it's not too unpleasant of an IPA. Oh, it's definitely, oh yeah, that's, uh, whew. oh my goodness, yeah, that's definitely an IPA, all right. Oh dear, I was hoping for so much more from a Liberty Ale, but it's, it's really just an IPA, and not a nice one. I, okay, I, I, I talked about this before when I talked about the Lemke IPA. Uh, I did promise that I was going to have more of an open mind toward these things, and I am. I am. I'm drinking it. You know, I'm, the, the moment I smelled it, oh, I knew it was an IPA. But uh, I'll, I'll still, I'll still give it a try, and I'll give it another one. Oh my God, this is definitely not for me. Uh, IPA lovers are probably going to really, really like this because it is a strong IPA. Oh my good! I, well, and again, I, I keep calling it an IPA, which is an Indian Pale Ale, and I don't know if this is if this if this specifically qualifies as an IPA, uh, but it, flavor-wise, it just falls right into that category, and it's strong. Like the, it's the, there's the citrusy going on, which I don't mind, but the bitterness is just, it becomes your whole life. Your entire existence is bitterness. You wake up and you still taste it. And it, it's just, bitterness becomes your your reason to, to do everything. 
and I find that sad. I don't, I don't want to constantly be bitter. <laughs> I'm far too sweet. Um, it's, ah, yeah. Oh, man. I don't think I can get through this one. It's, it's so, it's so extreme. The, the, the bitterness and the, um, the acidity. The more you drink of it, the, the harsher it gets. Uh, so, again, I don't know the taste palette of uh, someone who loves IPAs and this style of beer that's, you know, IPA-like. I know they have all kinds of weird names now. There's West Coast IPAs and Double IPAs and Bibbidi Bob Bob IPAs and IPAAs and IPPAs and, and uh, IPP. Um, but, yeah, I, I, maybe those people will enjoy it. Uh, for me, not at all. I, I don't even think I'm going to have another sip of this. And, you know, I only had a little bit. It's just... It's just not for me at all. And there's more in the bottle. See, I can probably fill it up again. No, I can't, but... My goodness, it's so, so strong. And it not, I'm not talking about the alcohol. The actual... The alcohol isn't actually that bad. It's 5.9%. That's not that bad. It's just, when I have a strong beer, I just prefer a bock. I like me a good bock or a double bock or just, you know, one of them Denmark strong beers. I had uh, the, the Carlsberg a while ago, 7.5. That's perfectly pleasant and drinkable and nice. I could probably have more of them. But IPAs are just so aggressive and overbearing. I don't even know what you would have this with food-wise because it just... Is there anything that doesn't get drowned out by the, the taste of an IPA? I I don't know. Maybe like, I don't know, Seerströmming. <laughs> I guess if you, if you like yourself a good bit of Seerströmming, you could have some IPA with that to wash it down. Mm. <laughs> it, it might be almost mild then. Oh, I can't do it. It's not for me. I'm sorry. The Lemke IPA, I actually kind of was okay with. Um, but this one is just not for me at all. And so, because these ratings are very personal, and please don't take them personal, if this is your favorite beer, more power to you. I mean, I love the branding. It's so good. But... I'm just not a fan of IPAs, and I just don't enjoy the drinking experience. So for me, this is a 1.5 out of 10. But if this is your favorite beer, I think you're completely valid in that opinion because um, it, it's all about taste. And if this is what you like, then that's awesome. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's my opinion on this one. I really, I'm really not going to be able to finish it. It's a shame because I was, I was really looking forward to this one because I saw it on the website. Um, and I, I saw that they had the, um, the Steam Anchor beer. And I was like, yes, I can get that. And somebody recommended that. Uh, and I'm really, and I'm still really looking forward to that one because again, it's, it's, you know, there's history to it and it's interesting. But I, I also saw this on the website and I thought, oh, that's great. I love the branding so much. Oh, if only this tastes good because then I can get this all the time. And, uh, I don't know, feel cool, I suppose. And, uh say taxation is theft to people and you know feel feel like a man but that's not gonna happen uh i'll have to remain a boy who can drink liberty ale because it's just not to my taste at all i'm not even going to pretend that i'm going to have another sip i'm i won't uh it's it's already with me and i can i can already feel the acid reflux building from this one so i'm definitely not going to have more uh I'll, i think i'll just i think i'll just close it out here and then maybe have another one and uh, have more to upload in the future. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me tonight. I hope you have a wonderful evening, everybody. And please join me on another day with another beer. And uh, me hopefully finishing it with, when it's not so... Just... Too much, please. It's too much. No more IPAs, please. Take care, guys.